Hello, this is CS, uh, CS106A, um, Programming with Biology, Assignment 4, Milestone 2, Part 2. Uh, the video was a lot longer than I thought, and so in this video we're just going to go over the build body. You don't really have to watch this if uh, <coughs> you know how to do it, but uh, again, this is talking about anchors, how to use them as reference points. Uh, okay, so what you need to do is... First, in the last video, we established that we needed a guest counter that will help us to build parts of the body. It's a private int, means that it can be used in uh, multiple methods, which we do. Uh, one in note incorrect guess, and another, which we're going to make right now, private void build body. <coughs> okay, so I'll try to get through this as fast as I can. So basically, in build body, what we want to do is the fastest way to get this to work is to use a switch. And we want to measure the value of the guest counter. And for each value, we want to have it do certain things. In case 0, nothing. Break. But in case uh, 1, we want to build the head. In case 2, we want to build the, the body. In case 3, we want to build the left arm. In case 4, we want to build the right arm. In case 5, left leg. Case six, right leg. <coughs> case seven, left uh, foot. And case eight, uh, right foot. Okay, and it, for default, you just want to break it. So if anything does pop up, default, break, nothing will happen. Okay? <coughs> okay, so first thing that we're going to do is build our head. Now, to build our head, uh, the most important thing is to build an anchor at the top of the head, which will what we have here, start body x, start body y. In start body x, uh, we use the <coughs> point from the rope to give us our starting position. Start body y gives us our y from the rope, gives us our starting position for the body. So we're going to use start body x and start body y. Um, <coughs> so going down here, first thing we want to build is the head. So we're going to go g oval head equals to new g oval. And again, this is a switch. We talked about switches before. Uh, start body x. <coughs> now, because it's built in a, from top left, left. Um, because the uh, the circle is built from the top left. So we're talking about this bar here. Uh, we have to subtract it by the head radius. So head radius. You could have copied and pasted it here, making sure that the name is the same. And then comma, or y position. So that's our start body y. And then we want to do our major axes, minor axes. So it's simply just going to be two times head radius. Uh, co comma, two times, head, radius. <coughs> okay, just like that. Um, the next thing you gotta do after that, uh, you need to add it. So we need to add our head, and we need to um, break once we're done. This is supposed to be a capital O. Okay, so that's how you do the head. Next, we need to build the body. So we'll have a G line body equals to new G line. The point will be from the bottom of the head. So that would be <coughs> start body because the X doesn't change, but our Y does. So start body Y plus our head radius. Uh, not really just a head, but both radius, radii, so a diameter really. Um, and then our new x value will be the same, and, and our new y value will be the body length. So it will be this plus the body length. <coughs> Enter, because we're running out of space, body length. And then we're going to add the body. And break. Okay. Next thing we need to add is the left arm. 
So that would be G line, left arm equals to new G line. And we're going to start with the X position, which is our star body X, comma. And then our Y position will be our star body Y plus the radius plus just only head offset. So the head our offset would be the arm offset from the head, right there. And then after that, um, <coughs> we need our x again, which would be this length. So it would be start body x minus the length of the arm, a comma, and then the y doesn't change. So y stays the same. <coughs> okay, so then we add our left arm, um, but we also need to add the left hand, so we'll call that left arm 2. G line, left arm 2, okay, new G line. <coughs> That would be from the new x position. So our new x position is right here. Okay, comma, and then our y position. This can be our new, well, the y never changed in the first place, so it's just going to be that. <coughs> comma, we need our position which didn't change and our y position which is going to be <coughs> the same oh no I'm sorry I take that back it's going to go down by that much so offset from the head plus the length <coughs> the length of the arm So then there you go, add left arm 2. And then we break. Now the cool thing is, is that with case 4, we're going to the right arm and just copy paste it. <coughs> so there it is. Uh, we do need to make a little modification to the uh, locations, so that's pretty easy. So instead of going to the left, we're going to the right, so we're going to add it by the <coughs> Uh, upper arm length <coughs> in here because it's added, that's added too. Uh, we need to add it here as well. And there you have it. And these are now going to be called right arm. Right arm, right arm. So, so are these. Right arm, right arm. Okay. <coughs> Now the next thing that we want to do is build a left leg, so that's going to be G line, left leg, new G line. <coughs> okay, so then that's going to be uh, from the bottom of the body. So we get to the body, and we're looking for the X, and then the body with the Y. So that's going to be this right here. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is <coughs> we're going to go ahead and um, say that the x gets shifted over to the left. So, start body x minus hip width. And then we're going to add our y value, which stays the same. <coughs> and then we're going to add it. Okay. And then we need to add the rest of our leg. So, um, G line, left leg two. And by the way, um, I don't like, well, 
here uh, in my code, I you can change that to left hand. You know, it doesn't have to be arm two. Here again, left foot or left leg because it's really the leg, and left leg two. That would be okay. But stuff like this, you want to be more specific with the naming. Um, anyways, uh, I'll probably change that in the code later. But G line left leg two is equal to new G line. And this is the lower half, and then we need the end point of that, so that's going to be the left side. So that's going to be starting by the x hip width, <coughs> and then the y value is going to be the same. So this, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, keep the same x values, and then. Uh, move down. So take our y value, we're going to add the lower leg. Okay. There we go. Um, <clears throat> what happened here? Something happened. Let's see what happened. Um, there's the first point. There's the second point. Oh, I'm missing a comma. There's my third point. And there's my fourth point. Good. So x y x y. All right, good. Um, we don't want to break it just yet, though. We need to add it. Add left leg two. Okay, so in part six we're now gonna use the right leg. So that's pretty easy. Copy paste it in. <coughs> okay. There we go. And here uh, we're gonna rename these to right leg. And instead of minus, now it's gonna be plus. So here hip with plus. Okay. And here we're gonna add this time right leg. Here it's gonna be right leg two as well. And here make sure you're adding it this time, not subtracting. Okay. And there you have it. So left leg, right leg, left foot, right foot. So G line again, left foot. And there's no order to this. You really can have it appear in any order you want. Um, <coughs> we need the end position of the of the of the leg. That's that. Then we need to get the y position, which is going to be that. And then we need <coughs> the movement of the x. So comma, and x is going to be shifted over to the left. So subtracted by the length of the foot, and then comma, we use the same y. So you can see literally why I try to consolidate these these algorithms because literally it's going to be very difficult to decipher and figure out what's wrong uh, if you made a small mistake. But um, again, because of how simple this programming is. Uh, there's not much you really want to consolidate into, but if you can configure programs, uh, you definitely want to do that. <coughs> Add left foot break. And then this one's easy because you just copy paste it. And then this is going to be now right foot, right foot, right foot. <coughs> and then Instead of uh, subtracting it, we're going to add it. And there you have it. So that's the coding for building the body. Now let's test it. So when we run this program, let's make sure we get it wrong. Oh, okay. There you go. Body, left arm, right arm, left leg, right leg, left foot. Oops. Right foot. What's wrong with our <coughs> left foot? Okay.
and this is why we're going to test it. So let but um, obviously was on the wrong side. So we're going to do the left leg, left leg x, left leg x. Here we go. Okay. So my left foot is going to be minus. And again, it's going to be minus. So that portion is right. Okay. Let's run that again. T. Okay. <clears throat> e. Okay. W. There we go. W, 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 w. And there you have it. And that's the end of Milestone 2. So I hope you liked this video. I'm sorry that it went longer than I thought. Uh, please like and subscribe and add more comments and uh, let me know what you think and I'll try to make it better and listen to your comments. Thank you.